guys, V here from Prairie Hill Projects and today I'm going to be building a feeder for my chickens out of this Lowe's bucket and I'm going to be using some PVC 90's some 4 inch it's going to look just like this guy over here I'm going to redo this one because my chickens beat this one up pretty good and broke the lid off and the tubes are falling out and so I'm always constantly getting in there and the tubes out and all the feeds on the ground so I'm going to redo this guy and make him a new one. So um, this feeder here is a really good idea. Um, it actually saves the feed so there's no feed on the ground so they actually got to stick their heads in and reach down in and get the food. So they kind of reach, they kind of reach down in, stick their heads in so there's no mess on the ground, nothing like that to pick up. Or to waste, so there's no waste with this guy here. So, so we're gonna redo this guy here today. All right. So some of the things you're gonna need is a drill and some glue. And right here I got some Loctite Power Grab glue, all-purpose construction adhesive. And then you're gonna need a Lowe's bucket or any kind of bucket, whatever you have. So you're gonna need a three and a quarter inch hole saw. To do the holes in the bucket and the four inch should fit right inside there so one of the things we have to do with your 90s is you're gonna have to cut one of the bell sides of it off so um, like this so I cut it like that but I messed up because I cut it too far and the feed was actually falling out after I put it in so I had to put an extension piece to gain back some of the material so that's one thing to watch out for when you're doing yours so you don't make the same mistakes I did. So you want to just cut a little bit off the back with the bell off and you just want to shave it right off here and then cut it. Not as steep as I did. So you want to do that to four 90s and then you should be all set with that part. So let's move on to drilling our holes in our buckets. So here's my drill set up. I got my three and a quarter inch hole saw set up. And now all we gotta do is just make some holes. And you don't wanna go too close to the bottom. So you actually wanna have it, an idea where you wanna go, maybe like two, two and a half inches. Let's do two and a half from the bottom. And we'll mark it and that's gonna be our bottom point. go right around the bucket and mark two four of those okay, now that we've done that we'll get to getting our holes put in So we're just lining up the mark with the bottom of the hole saw. All right, one hole down. Let's see if she fits. Looking nice, looking nice. So that's what your hole should look like. And then the inside of the bucket. And then the feed just falls down and they just eat from the bottom. Alright, now let's get the rest of the holes done. making sure my spacing is good enough here kind of equal all right here we 
Here's the last one. you have and just clean out the burrs that the hole saw left behind. rest of the shavings out of the inside of the bucket here. All right, now we're looking good. Now we'll start putting our 90s in here. Getting them all lined up. To get a, a snug fit you don't want the bell to fall through so you want to get everything kind of tight and then snap in you might need to do a little twisting and turning and you might not even need to use the glue if you got the right size hole saw you know so but i think i might just put just a little dab on just the corners maybe four little dabs just to hold it in there tight because eventually i'm going to have to maybe redo the bucket again at some point and i'll probably just reuse these pieces like I am so I'm gonna get the rest of them on there so let's get these all in here so I uh, use red I painted all my 90s red you can see that they were you know white at one point chickens pecked away at it but when they're younger they everything is red in a chicken coop I mean for like the waters and the feeder and stuff like that and it attracts the chickens so so you know where the food and water and stuff is so that's why they're red. <laughs> so let's get these in there. get them nice and tight so the bell is actually sitting right flush to the bucket and that's what we're going to use to dab a little glue on so this is what you kind of want this way you want your inside to be I don't know if you can see that very well so all the 90s are facing down and uh, feed goes in, they eat from the bottom, the feed just keeps falling down on top. And then they, keep, they have to reach in to grab it, so no feed is actually falling onto the ground outside. So that's what we got going on in there. All right, we got our glue. I'm just going to dab some right, just a couple little little tiny beads right here and there. So eventually if I have to take them back off, they'll be easy, somewhat easy to get off. So I left a little bit of room where I can get in there. The holes are pretty snug tight, so I'm hoping that they'll just stick in there and not need too much glue. I'm just going to give it a little push. Let's get it to touch. 
and then we're going to do that for the rest of the three here. So. And there you go, that should be enough glue to hold it on. And so what we're going to do is let it sit overnight and cure. And then um, all you got to do is, after that, is put your feet in your bucket and put it in your coop. And I put mine on a couple cinder blocks to keep it off the ground so it's a little bit higher up. So the chicken's, you know, perfect height for them, about a cinder block or so. And... Uh, yeah, there you go. Finished product. Very simple, very easy to do at home. All right, there's the finished product with the lid on. Like and subscribe if you thought that was useful. Stay tuned for our next video.